Now, Sheffield boxer Kel Brook says he's ready to put on a show for the fans when he defends his world title against Birmingham's Frankie Gavin on Saturday. He's been in London today at a press conference, and as you can imagine, there was a lot of media attention, so you can expect some flash photography coming up. Well, Kel, of course, came face to face with his opponent. Some 18,000 fans are expected at the O2 Arena to see the first world welterweight title fight between two British fighters. It'll be the second time Kel's defended his IBF title after recovering from being stabbed in the leg in Tenerife last September. I know that he's up for this fight. You know, he's, uh, he's trained very hard for it. But, you know, he's, he's got his chance for, to fight for a world title and try and, you know, try and get it off me. And uh, I've made sure that I've put myself through it in the gym. You know, and I'm, I'm, re I'm ready now. I'm ready, I'm ready for Saturday. It's a great build for British boxing, but also for Kel Brook. Just filled the arena. Um, around 9,000 in Sheffield on March 28th, 18,000 sold out at the O2 on Saturday night. He's headlining a bill with three world title fights, two British title fights, Commonwealth title fights. It's a massive card, I think the best Britain's seen for many years. And a great chance for Kel Brook to go out and defend his world title just two months after successfully defending it against Jojo Dan. Kel Brook is in London preparing to defend his IBF world title. He takes on Birmingham's Frankie Gavin and it could be a tough test, but as ever, Kel is up for the fight. Shamir Masri's report does contain some flash photography. Kel Brook arrived in London today to be greeted by the nation's sport media and his opponent, Birmingham's Frankie Gavin. Gavin, nicknamed Funtime, has been ranked number three in the world with the IBF so is expected to provide a stern test for Kel's second title defence. Frank Gavin's wanted this fight for, you know, for many years. He's always said that he's seen things in my armour that he's going to exploit and, and uh, so, you know, good luck to, with him with that. Brooks' opponent, like all boxers going into a fight, is supremely confident but knows he's in for a tough night on Saturday at London's O2. It's a world title. Any world title is a tough fight, especially in the toughest division there is, the wildlife division. But I'm ready, like I said. I put myself through it and I'm doing my best. Kelly's just one of three world title fights on the night and 18,000 fans will be cheering the British fighters on. But earlier this week in Sheffield, Kel was fighting a slightly different class of opponent at a media workout. All right, we're fantastic, you know, them chucking, chucking shots at a world champion. That, you know, I just... I hope that I made their, their year. A win on Saturday could see American Brandon Rios fight Kel at Sheffield United's ground in August, with the winner potentially fighting Manny Pacquiao. Kel, he wants to be at Bramall Lane, and uh, you know they're keen to host him, and certainly that's a real possibility for the end of August if he gets through Saturday night. Pacquiao, you know, Bob Arum and Top Rank, they like the fight with Kel Brook. Um, they also have Brandon Rios, who's a target for, for August as well. I think. Pacquiao's not going to get back into the ring till later in the year, so he won't be next for Kelbrook. But Kelbrook is a legitimate contender. You know, he's gone from Sheffield superstar, and this show will really take him to national superstar levels, coming outside of Sheffield and filling an arena in London. And he's a global star as well. So by the end of this year, the name Kelbrook could be on the lips of boxing fans across the world. Shamir Masri, BBC Look North. Yeah, good luck to Kel on Saturday night. Well.